subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hi everyone i am dr sanjeev p sahani and today we will be discussing about a very critical topic called cyber ig in today's age internet and smart devices are everywhere but how do we keep ourselves safe from frauds and crimes that get propagated through online means according to cost of data breach report of 2019 the global average cost of the data breach has grown by 12% in the last 5 years to 3.92 million emerging trends like work from home and hybrid modes arising out of covid-19 have increased vulnerability of falling prey to cyber crimes since childhood we are taught different practices to maintain health and prevent diseases through cleanliness that is maintaining good hygiene it has three basic postulates like using products and tools that fit our hygiene needs performing the hygienic task correctly and establishing a routine in the same manner there are various tools and techniques to maintain cyber hygiene but first of all let's focus on what cyber hygiene is the european union's agency for network and information security states that cyber hygiene should be viewed in the same manner as personal hygiene much like an individual engages in certain personal hygiene practices to maintain good health and well-being cyber hygiene practice can keep data safe and well protected cyber hygiene refers to the practices and steps that users of computers and other devices take to maintain system health and improve online security these practices are often part of a routine to ensure that safety of identity and other details that could be stolen or corrupted it is associated with the precautions users take with the aim of keeping sensitive data organized safe and secure from theft and outside attacks integration of cyber hygiene into a personal life or in the organization includes basically three components simple daily routines good behavior occasional checkups following them will ensure the online health is in optimum condition as it will regularly ward off natural deterioration and common threats there is no single standard or commonly agreed upon mechanism for an organization to assess evaluate or demonstrate cyber hygiene it can be tailored according to the target audience cyber hygiene is a business problem not an it problem and no two organization will implement it the same way increased use of devices of work and data storage purposes has also made us vulnerable to lot of data and financial frauds and these frauds are like loss of data like data leaks through online cloud storages misplaced data due to storing in different places security breaches like cyber attacks poor or lack of vendor risk management for example loss of data to third party vendors 
and the Wi-Fi provider. Cybercrime in India is also very pervasive. There are many shocking stories. For instance, April 2015 and March 2017, in this period, police from 12 Indian states made 23 visits to a district called Jamthara in Jharkhand. Do you know why? Because 80% of the cyber crimes, primarily phishing, were emanating from the area. The fishers robbed gullible people of their hard-earned money by making cheat phone calls. As they say, a password is like a toothbrush. Choosing the right one, not sharing with anyone, and changing it occasionally. So change your passwords regularly as it helps. Maintaining unobstructed and safe operations over the web. Reducing risk of financial loss and reputation damage. Ensuring better data privacy. We can also do these simple things to maintain proper cyber hygiene. Not clicking on strange links sent via unverified email accounts. It is recommended to install an email spam detector to automate protection from phishing. For example, not clicking on the links that say you can win $1 million. Being aware of the permissions for the websites, mobile applications, and browser extensions. For example, any site asking the bank details. Taking responsibility of your own actions that you take on the web. For example, filling and clicking the forms and the links. Being mindful while using an open public network. For example, connecting to the web through a secure network or VPN. Use safe surfing rule. When in doubt, there must be a consultation or watching expert talks or sometimes simply not using the site. Turning off the router when it is not in use. Encrypting sensitive files when sending to the recipient installing anti-tracking softwares. We can also maintain some daily practices like updating the antivirus software every three days at a minimum, deleting history to remove the cookies. Beside, we can also do some weekly and monthly practices like performing a complete antivirus scanning of the device or the gadget, running a registry cleaner in Windows and anti-spyware, backing up the files and personal data, performing a vulnerability scan and fixing it if it is found. Some policy-related suggestive measures can be developing comprehensive cyber hygiene policy by involving all the stakeholders of the country, creating awareness among people about cyber hygiene practices through the medium of media, conducting cyber hygiene training modules for different segments in the population to give them hand-on training. When carried out, in a conjunction with robust and wide security practices, cyber hygiene practices aid in maintaining a sound security posture for modern organization and for self-digital care. That sum up today's topic. Keep watching Gyps Infotainment. Thank you.